Thanks. Yeah, I have a somewhat of a breaking story. Uh, we don't have too many details about it yet, but I do want to put it on on you know your on notice. Uh, so the AP is reporting that a plant spokesman says Russian troops have begun shelling Europe's largest nuclear power station in Ukraine. Yeah, you know they took over Chernobyl uh, so quick, like they've been pretty incompetent in, in in their march to Kiev, and so. But they were went right after Chernobyl, uh, and yeah. and now they're shelling a, a, a nuclear station. There's something weird. I, I don't know if they think that they could be used as weapons, or yeah. they want to use it as weapons. Yes. And, but but if that's what they're doing, that's insane. Their own troops are also in Ukraine. I mean, you think he cares? I, I no. He's a, uh, he's a crazy person. He he doesn't care. Yeah. Look, that's Associated Press, so that's nothing to sneeze at. It's not a fly-by-night operation. If they're reporting at least that someone at that plant is saying the Russians are shelling a nuclear plant, that is a very, very dangerous situation. And I don't know why I'm bothering to give them any best case scenario possibility. But even if it was a mistake, that's why you don't invade countries, because sometimes you accidentally bomb a nuclear power plant and cause a absolute irreversible catastrophe, but it is unlikely to be a mistake. Right. And if they're doing that on purpose, Putin moves to another layer of monster, uh, like historic evil. Uh, and, and it's also very scary because he apparently is careless about the consequences of nuclear uh, fallout. And that is very scary for the whole world. What happens when a madman gets a hold of half the nukes in the world? Well, we're living that right now. All right, so this literally just broke. I'm gonna read you more details about it. Russian troops are shelling Europe's largest nuclear power station in Ukraine. We demand that they stop the heavy weapons fire, said a spokesperson for the plant. Um, and he said in a video that was posted on Telegram, there is real threat of nuclear danger in the biggest atomic energy station in Europe. The plant accounts for about one quarter of Ukraine's power generation. I'm reading directly from the Associated Press. The fighting um, at Ener Hodar, Ener Hodar, a city on the um, uh, Dnieper River uh, that accounts for one quarter of the country's power generation came as another round of talks between the two sides yielded a tentative agreement to set up safe corridors inside Ukraine to evacuate citizens and deliver humanitarian aid. So the mayor of this town said Ukrainian forces were battling Russian troops on the city's outskirts. Video showed flames and black smoke rising above the city of more than 50,000 people. Um, streaming past wrecked cars just a day after the UN Atomic Watchdog Agency expressed concern that the fighting could cause accidental damage to Ukraine's 15 nuclear reactors. So for now, um, it isn't very clear if it's it's done on purpose. Uh, I mean, we can speculate, but I don't want to. Uh, but this is a dangerous situation. Yeah. Last things as to as to why they might be doing it if they're doing it on purpose. Um, and and again, the culpability doesn't matter either way. You invade a country, you own all of the the mistakes. So when they say, "Oh, we've killed hundreds, maybe thousands of civilians," but it was just an accident, no, that is not good enough. It's not good enough when America invaded Iraq. It's not good enough when Israel bombs the Gaza Strip, and it's not good enough when Russia bombs Ukraine, a country they invaded. And so, but the reasons they might be doing it if it's on purpose is to knock out the energy in Ukraine so that people become more desperate. And secondly, intimidation. So, hey, you don't understand what you're messing with and you don't know what we're willing to do. You should, by the way, Putin could easily say, you could ask the Syrians, we've been butchering them for years and no one's ever done anything about it. And and so he might be trying to intimidate the Ukrainians and and really, take out their heat and electricity in the middle of winter. So that is a disastrous turn of events in Ukraine. So let's hope to God that it doesn't get breached and that this doesn't continue to happen. Because the, And one last thing guys, the more Putin does horrible things, the harder it is to walk back. He keeps digging a hole deeper and deeper. The problem is he has all those nukes. So if he thinks he's in a hole where he's gonna get 
brought up on international war crimes, is he ever going to get to a peace treaty? Or is he just gonna destroy Ukraine and his own country because of the sanctions, etc.? And then what does he do when he gets desperate? So these are really terrible times. And anyone who supported Putin throughout, wow, you're, you're a national disgrace. You should be on your knees apologizing to the whole world right now for not really realizing what a monster Putin is if your mistake was an honest one. Whether you're Trump, Tucker Carlson, Steve Bannon, or anyone else. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, we really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.